In this video, we are going to partition uh, a decimal number into different DC binary numbers. So first of all, what is a DC binary number? So a number is a DC binary if you, you can, uh, if the digits are themselves just binary, that is they consist of either 0 or 1 and we will ignore the leading zeros. So no need to write that. For example, 101. This is a DC binary number, although we will read it as 101 and not the binary value, which is 1 plus 4, that is 5. So it's not 5, but it's 101, but its digits are 0 and 1. And we will not generally write like this, leading zeros. So, but that does not make a difference in this case, for our case. So uh, we have to make this number using DC binary numbers. So uh, for example, if we have let's say 2, 3, 4, then we can write it as sum of 111 plus 111 plus. So, uh, so when we subtract 111 from this, we get 1, 2, 3. Again, subtract 111, we get 0, 1, 2. So these two sum up to 222 12 is remaining so again we will add 1 1 so plus 1 1 and then uh, if we subtract it it's 0 and this is 1 so next we will add 1 so if you sum these four numbers since these four uh, DC binary numbers you will get 234 so in this case we will return 4 we have to just return the numbers and not the actual values just the count Similarly, let's say we have this value 82734. So uh, we have to just add a decimal value, just uh, subtract decimal values which are formed from 0 or 1. So if none of the numbers are 0, then we will subtract all the ones. Our goal is to quickly reach to 0, 0, 0, 0, 0. We have to find the minimum such value. Maximum what would be? We would keep adding. Uh, 1111 in fact uh, so you can keep adding 111 so you will get maximum but in this case the target is minimum so we will try to reduce all these numbers to zero we have to reduce all of these to zero so our goal should be to subtract the maximum possible value so if we subtract 1111 it becomes 71623 again subtract 1111 now it's 60512 now you see there is a zero here so uh, instead of 1111 so whichever digits are zero make that zero because we cannot subtract any number greater than zero from this so one zero uh, one 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 of course uh, we can subtract one from all of these but our goal is to take the maximum such possible value so if five digit value is possible then we will take that if there are leading zeros then we are bound to take a smaller uh, number of digits now again this is five zero four zero one so now two zeros so one zero one zero one four zero three zero zero now one zero one zero zero now it's three 0 2 0 0 again 1 0 1 0 0 so 2 0 1 0 0 next 1 0 1 0 0 and it's 1 0 0 0 0 next subtract this number itself 1 0 0 0 and you get 0 0 0 0 so this is 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 so if you add these eight uh, DC binary numbers you will get eight two seven three four and the order does not make a difference so you have to bring all those numbers to zero so whatever is the maximum digit so you have to subtract at least eight times from this to make it zero you cannot subtract two from this because two cannot be part of DC binary number so you have to subtract a bigger value consisting of one at this digit whatever digit this 8 is the maximum uh, digit 8 times at least so 
in this case the answer will be equivalent to the same maximum value so this uh, uh, the order of digits does not make a difference so let's take the same digits 82734 but now we will take 27834 same digits just change the places so that we get leading zeros so 11111 it's uh, 16723111105612 so if you compare 05612 digits remain same just they are changed in the same order so uh, here we had taken this uh, 10111 so now zero will come in the front 01111 so you can forget the zero that does not make any difference and here also again we are doing the same thing so maximum is digit is at third place so if you see third place it's getting reduced one each time so other digits will become zero before 8 since 8 is the largest so whenever they become zero we put zero in the decimal binary numbers there the, as simple as that So now it's four five zero one. Uh, so again, this is zero. So it's very simple. One zero one one zero one. Again, three four zero zero. So this maximum is reducing by one time, and it will take eight steps. And before that, all the other digits would have already become zero. This is the maximum. So clearly, the answer is whatever is the maximum digit. So our goal reduces to find max digit in a decimal number so this question is equivalent to that so how can we do that just iterate through all the digits and keep track of maximum so it will take order of uh if number of digits is d so o of d and if a number is uh, number itself is n the number of digits is of the order of log n so it's just a matter of notation if you are writing in terms of the number itself so here n denotes 27834 then it's log n and if you are talking about number of digits so d is in this case 5 5 digit number so it will be o of d both are equivalent so now we all know how to do that you even there are uh, ready made functions in all the major languages to find the maximum digit for example in c++ we have max element and we pass a string two iterators so first is s dot begin if this is s and then s dot end and then this will return the character and then we will subtract a sky value of 0 to get the actual digit or we can just run a loop uh, till this uh, number is greater than 0 and take the unit digit or uh, iterate over these characters if it's in the form of, of a string so you get the idea so now let's write the code in java c++ and python so you can go through a few more examples and you can go to the hint the hint in fact uh, gives you enough clue so let's keep track of maximum int max is equal to 0 and for so dot get get confused with this max variable this is the variable max underscore and this max is the function and let's try So let's write eight two seven three four. So 
so this seems to work let's submit and the solution is accepted the same thing in uh, java and python uh, if you want you can also try that other thing the ready made function and this solution is also accepted now let's uh, write the same logic in java and python so here uh, we will write a loop int i equal to 0 i less than n dot length plus plus i uh, and it should be math dot max uh, max and n i or n dot care at minus zero so let's see uh, so i think c is small care at and this seems to work so let's submit and the solution is accepted uh, now the same thing in python So in python we need to uh, we cannot directly uh, subtract two characters we need to explicitly get the sky value using this ORD function and now we will return the max and the solution is accepted in python also 